I just taken my eye off. I recommend that you always cover this hole on these uh, these machines. Steve Jobs used to do that. So did Bill Gates. Otherwise, all those guys would be crashing and watching them do private things. Hey, well, I'm happy my book's going into Spanish uh, in Colombia, and so I hope all you Colombians like it for some reason. Um, I don't understand why the, I mean, most books have a life of about three years, but for some reason this one gets, excels more, it goes into more countries. Unfortunately, I don't quite understand why that happened, otherwise I would have written another one. Uh, I would just try to make sense of the world in, of improvisation for myself. And it's turned out to be useful to people, uh, writers and such, and well, especially improvised, but also for actors. It's an attitude of mind, especially towards the audience. Uh, I was reading a book by Robert Stevens this week, a wonderful actor who killed himself from drinking, really about Frank Finlay, who <laughs> decided he ought to be able to see on the stage because he didn't wear his spectacles. So he got contact lenses, and for the first time he saw the audience and never wore it again because the audience was so terrifying. And he's such a good actor. I really think it's ridiculous to have all that stress. They call it playing, it should be. When I first came to the theater, I, they commissioned a play for me. So I said, I want to watch everything around the theater for a month. So I did. And sometimes like standing it in the wings, watching the actors go on, they would tense up to walk into the light like they're entering this torturous space there. And then they'd come back and they'd shake themselves loose and relax. <laughs> I thought they should shake themselves loose and relax before they went on stage and come back and be as uptight as they like in real life. So I think improvisation does help actors in that way. Uh, it, it, well taught, it can abolish a lot of fear. That's why I say always be average. Yeah then you're your real self and things happen. You don't have to, yeah, I think, I think, I think you don't, the ego doesn't have to do the improvisation or the acting. <clears throat> I think that if you can step aside, you can let other forces operate. I think that's why I improvise in the essay about masks, but I'm not sure Colombians need to, to learn about masks from me. I mean, people go from my old theater company, Loose Loose, and start teaching masks to the Japanese. It's kind of ridiculous, because uh, they should be the great experts. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoy the book. I hope it's useful. Uh, the English version has got all kinds of sly jokes in it. <laughs> I hope they, I hope the translator got some of them. Don't write to me and say it's changed my life, changed your life, because people do that, and I don't understand those. I don't don't understand that. I don't understand why it turns up in Zen bookshops either. However, <laughs> it's a mystery to me. Maybe it can make more sense to you. But it still seems to be alive. I mean, it's going to beat me for sure. Well, oh, they're flashing a light at me. Okay, I better go and check the chickens now. <laughs>